Hey guys, this is Miss Garner. Today we're going to go over solving for a variable, uh, specifically when exponents are involved. In order to do this, we'll be using inverse operations, which just means usually the opposite. So for number one, we have x squared equals 49. In order to get our variable isolated, which is x, uh, we need to get rid of the square. So the opposite of a square is a square root. So if we take the square root of both sides, the square root of x squared is x, and the square root of 49, if we do it in our calculator, you're going to press second x squared, that gives you your square root symbol right there. Type in 49, press enter, which is 7. Uh, technically, this is plus or minus 7, because we know that positive 7 times positive 7 is 49, and also negative 7 times negative 7 equals 49. Um, but for the purpose of 8th grade math and our content, uh, we will almost always just use exclusively positive 7, so we'll usually just put x equals 7. For number two, we have y cubed equals 27. To get y isolated, we need to get rid of our cube here. So the opposite of a cube is a cube root. It looks just like the square root, except it has a little three above the little check mark there. We're gonna take the cube root of both sides. So the cube root over here will leave us y, which is what we were wanting. We wanted y isolated. And then the cube root of 27, you're gonna press math. Go down to the fourth option, press enter, and now type in your number. And the cube root of 27 equals 3. For number 3, we have the square root of z equals 5. The opposite of a square root is a square. So we are going to square both sides. The square on the left-hand side will get rid of the square root. So this is just going to be z equals. And then 5 squared is the same thing as saying 5 times 5, or in the calculator, if you're wanting to type this in, you can press 5, and then the x squared button right here, enter, which is 25. So z equals 25. For number 4, we have a squared plus 4 equals 85. In order to isolate a squared, or a, which is our main goal, we have to bring this 4 to the other side. It has to be with the other number. So the opposite of adding is subtracting. So to do the inverse operation, we're going to subtract 4 from both sides. Positive 4 and negative 4 goes to 0. So on the left-hand side, we're left with a squared equals, and then on the right-hand side, 85 minus 4 is 81. And now just above, like number 1, to get rid of that square, we want to do a square root to both sides. So the left-hand side, we're left with a, and on the right-hand side, the square root of 81, you're going to do your square root sign, type in 81, and that's going to be 9. And we can double check ourselves, 9 times 9 equals 81, so we know we've taken the square root correctly. And for number 5, this is very similar. We have the square root of b minus 5 equals 3. We want this number to be with the other one on the other side. We need to get b isolated by itself on one side. So the opposite of subtracting is adding, so add 5 to both sides. Negative 5, positive 5 goes to 0, so you're left with a square root of b equals 3 plus 5 is 8. And now, in order to solve for this, the opposite of a square root is a square, so we're going to square both sides, leaving us with b equals 8 squared, which is 8 times 8, which equals 64. So b equals 64. And now, you know more.